very disappointing way to lose a game, I suppose. Uh, lately, we had a few of them. So last week we lost in the 83rd minute. So the way you, you had, had to soak up an awful lot of pressure in, in that second half, there was a, a, a sense that it was coming, but disappointing in the way the goal was conceded. Um, yes, there will be a better second half. Um, they just raced in general the tempo. That I don't think they outplayed those. There was just a lot of second balls, a lot of physicality. Uh, what we are trying to address throughout the second half by bringing Bobby Grant in, who wins more headers, bringing Wes Burns in, who wins more headers, and a Jordi. So we saw that. Uh, we tried to address that. Um, and um, they had a momentum, yeah. But I felt um, I felt pretty, still pretty confident. Um, we needed to cope more with their physicality. That's the bottom line. What more could you've done in that regard, perhaps? Physicality. Mm. <laughs> Besides gritting your teeth. Um, I think I think we have the players we have, and uh, we uh, we are a pressing team. We are a very mobile team, and sometimes conditions today was was really bad for both teams. And sometimes the the ball is more in the air than on the ground, and and that is sometimes where where we is probably is our, not our advantage. In the first half, you had a very good start of the game. Obviously, yeah. went ahead. Did, did did you think you did enough having gone ahead? Cause yes. They, Gillingham then came back into the game as the half went on. Yeah, I think uh, Chillingham is a team who has probably the, the second best record after Blackburn Rovers in the moment. So that you could see, we expected that, but I think we started, like you said rightly, we started really well. And um, uh, don't forget, we had also played today. We had players who had not played very often mm. for us, and uh, they are not hundred percent familiar how we how we like to play with the ball and without the ball. And the longer the half went, in uh, first half you could see that. One of those was Kev O'Connor. How did you think he went today? I think the first half they attacked us on that side. I think he got really good help from um, Conor McElhaney. I think he he sacrifices himself to to shut to shut down that side. Uh, in the second half, he addressed the tactic a little bit, and in the second half, uh, Conor uh, Kevin was really good. Um, there was nothing happened on that side. Your substitution seemed to make a, an an impact towards the end of the game. Yeah, um, I think. Um, yeah, we tried to pin them back, we tried to attack them. Um, we have good players up front who can offer us energy and ability. And uh, they work hard and um, we nearly we nearly got the goal with, with Jordi Euler mm. um, with a very good cross. And um, unfortunately, I, I just feel sorry for the boys. Um, it's now too many times happened that we, we lose a game like that. And it's not about fitness, it's just also it's a little bit mentally. I think we need to be we need to be strong. We pl we played the second half uh, to their end. There was automatically coming more pressure on us, and we need to be strong to um, resist that pressure and, and try to play our game. What was difficult today because the the condition was awful. Fairly flat dressing room having lost the game so late. Ah, it should be because I think uh, I think if we are here to win. We are professionals. We want to win games, and I think yes, of course there's. No music after after a late defeat like that, uh, but I think, um, like I know our players, they will recover quick and uh, we go for Monday again.